Yeah. <laughs> we got all the chimes down for the afternoon and stuff. It's uh, pretty stormy. You can't even see the coast. So earlier the white caps were horrendous. But yeah, we got a pretty good storm going. There we go. We'll still make uh, we still made a nice latte out here. Yeah, this is what's going on this afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Nice storm, express. Then we're not gonna let that stop us. So we're gonna make us a couple of, um, we're gonna make a nice little double latte, dump two pulls here out on the car today. A little stormy, but um, you know, once again, great espresso, no frills, no spills, none of that stuff, just, um, just gonna make up here. We got the Christmas tree up in the background. I'm going to put some uh, lights probably tomorrow. It's been kind of stormy today. But yeah, we're using a good old Apollo. Great grinder. Did a, it's one of the older versions. I, mine works on like two. People have all these other settings. But uh, yeah, the Apollo works really good. So we're going to go ahead and yeah, we'll just tamp up a couple. Out here I have to tamp harder. I always have to remember because the tamper I use out here is a little lighter. Then I use inside. I use the B plus inside. It's a heavy tamper, but it works good. And out here, um, I use a little lighter. I like this Musa tamper, but you do have to tamp a little harder. And the cart, I have a wooden top on on top of the screen, but it has a little give, so that may also different than a kitchen counter. It may give you a little more flex, so you just have to tamp a little harder. So sometimes you have to adjust the way you do things with your environment and, you know, where you're making the coffee, like inside the counter might be a different height, like mine is, and this might, the cart's a little lower, a little lighter um, tamper than inside, and a little flex, even though the angle's more down in here, you think you could get more pressure, but it's all just adjusting, and, you know, once you have your stuff dialed in, that's the way to do it. And I you know, I know everyone has all this stuff and they're overheating and, you know, they like all the toys, but, uh, you know, really, most of them really are just kind of there for fun, but maybe just a waste. But there we go. I, I'd like to use the little um, diffuser, whatever you want, sometimes out here, just because the humidity. But, um, you know, it's not necessary, but it works. You know, I like these just because they look neat. You can make your own. There's a million different ones so the b plus is a nice one it's kind of cool and it has the lot of on it but, you know make your own or whatever you want to do or i only use them once in a while too and they help get the um grounds out of the grinder there too in case they have a little moisture or something is built up so we'll pack this down we got mr blue already set we've got a little simplicity going here we're gonna we're going to use a little, usually I use the Leveramic mugs, but today we're going to use just a little different one. This one's from Germany, or Kroll, I think it's, I may pronounce that wrong, but they're, they're a really nice cut porcelain, not quite as thick, but um, they hold a little more than the 300 mils, so they're a pretty nice, they're a pretty nice cup, so we're going to do that. That was my old favorite before the Leveramic, so let's just go ahead and whip one out. So yeah, we've been having a lot of storms and um, some heavy winds. Yeah, and the neighbor's tree fell down, but just the very tip of it touched the back of our house just to make an aggravating scratch. And it was too high to get till the next day when I could get up there, we could cut it, cut the little branch down. It wasn't really, um... yeah, so make your espresso how you want to. Is a couple storm will not the storm stop you or anything like that. Just go ahead and you know do it how you like. Originally, espresso you know years ago was always envisioned as a little cup of you know dark, very strong coffee. But you know, really, as time goes, it's what you consider. You don't need your nine bars, and you know that's kind of something set up by an industry standard for machines. It doesn't mean that. Your little La Pavoni should have nine bars because it's really, truly not designed for that. So you're just trying to do all this stuff. And I don't know, this simple machine right here really is my favorite. I have it out on the cart now because I did some repairs on this TV as you saw in the show. 
Yeah, a little single spout. <laughs> They're all about the same. You know, I like the bottom lifts too. But really, when it comes down to it, they're all the same. And you're not going to make a massive amount of difference. And, uh, the single spout's pretty cool. The double spout's nice, too. And then everyone gets kind of trying to get both to come out the same. But you don't need to worry about that. Water and liquid takes the easiest route. So if there's a tiny bit of where your handle is, it's going to go out the other spout. I don't think they're ever meant to do two little ones necessarily, but it looks cute. But yeah, there we go. Always works pretty good. And um, we'll make up a latte, so it's been really blustery back and forth all day. It's been a really uh, kind of fun day to make espresso. Power didn't go out. Usually it goes out and I get the whole setup with the camp stove, but then it comes on and ruins the fun. All right, so there we go. Heavy weather didn't stop us. Christmas tree's up. No lights yet, but we have the Christmas special coming up. We're going to be filming that later on. And yeah, it's going to be epic this year, so... Yeah, there we go. Subscribe up. And um, yeah, that's about it. There we go. Once again, lovely espresso. We didn't need any. <laughs> We're in the cloud today. Yeah. <laughs> wow.